Well, Steve, we make the journey to Cambridge United tomorrow. Um, your initial thoughts ahead of the game? Looking forward to it. Uh, on the back of a good performance last week. Uh, we've had a good week with the lads this week. They've also had a bit of time off as well because of the, uh, the, the programme we've had for the last two months. has been pretty intense and obviously with the young squad, we've got to be very mindful of, uh, of what that can do to them. I guess it was a welcome relief to have that free week. Absolutely, week. yeah. And I think we'll look forward to the next couple of weeks as well to, uh, to get some quality work done with the squad, which so far we haven't really been able to do because of the amount of games we've had to play. When we've spoken to Daryl um, for a few weeks now, he's, he's constantly said we need to build up some momentum. Do you think the decent performance last week against Colchester gives us a good basis for that? I certainly hope so. It should do. I mean, it should give the lads uh, a lot of confidence going forward. Um, they Generally, we think they've played quite well. Um, defensively, we've been fairly solid. And that's something we're looking to build to build on. You know, and it's a, it's a positive platform to, to, to look at. Mm. Uh, going forward, we'll be looking to obviously score more goals, which we know has been a problem. But uh, it's not as if we haven't been creating chances, and that's that's something that uh, we'll look to do more of. When you go away from home, do you um, you know set the lads up slightly differently in terms of a home game, where I guess you might expect it to be on the front foot? No, we'll try and be on the front foot again on Saturday. It's, uh, it's important we try and do that. I don't think we want to sit back and wait to see what happens. I think we want to make sure that we go there with a positive frame of mind, which we started with last week uh, against, uh, against Colchester. Uh, and this week will be no different. Uh, no, we'll be going there to try and get three points. And to do that, we have to have a very positive mindset. Looking at Cambridge um, specifically, what sort of a threat do you think they'll pose tomorrow? They've got a, a good squad. Um, he's putting a very good squad together. Uh, they've got some experienced players. They started reasonably well this season. I'm sure now with all the, the comings and goings this week of, uh, of the club being taken over, I believe, uh, I'm sure they'll be looking to kick on now for the rest of the season. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be some pressure on them, probably more so than there will be on us. But uh, that's something we can look forward to. But I guess from your point of view, you'll just be solely focused on what we do tomorrow. Absolutely, yeah, as always. Um, mindful of the fact that uh, you know they're, they're a decent side. As I said, they've got some good players, some dangerous players up front. And uh, we've got to be careful that uh, we don't switch off on the day. But go there, as I said, very positive with a chance to get three points. It's a long way down to Cambridge, isn't it? Um, the weather's not the best. Um, <laughs> what would you say to the Silman fans planning on making the journey well, tomorrow? Hopefully the weather, the weather will get better as we go, go further south. But um, yeah, listen, whatever fans turn up, we're always very, very grateful. Um, I'm sure there'll be the, the merry band down there that we normally get away games. And um, I just hope we can put on a performance for them. Brilliant. Thanks, Steve. Pleasure.